before we were all just like put in a big room and we were able to go and pick different rooms we wanted to go to. But now it's just like we're in separate groups and at different times we do different activities. In a year when everything shut down, schools, sports, extracurriculars, Maya and Shakir Johnson are lucky enough to have one place to go. This feels like a school building to me and I have staff here that are able to help me whenever I'm struggling doing work. The Boys and Girls Club of Philadelphia has worked tirelessly through the pandemic to help their kids succeed. Once March came around and we everything was shutting down, we actually went into um, an expedited mode to make sure that we keep services going for the kids. They had to downsize from 22 to 14 locations across the city, but still managed to serve more than 176,000 meals since March. That's good. And thanks to partners like Comcast, provide internet for the kids to do their virtual learning. We're not only essential in being a boys and girls club, but we're essential in being a school. We're where the kids go. We're, we're their home base. That home base, known to change lives. When I was five years old, I watched my uncle get shot and killed in front of me. All I can remember is, is hearing gunshots and, and, and the car getting hit up, and it just was, it was terrifying. And, and ever since then, my uncle's been my motivation for me. Years later, Zakir Harrison used that motivation to win Youth of the Year at the Nice Town Club. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, huh? He now works there, mentoring youth, while also going to trade school. He knew that. I was going to be something special and give back to my community. Part of that giving back, helping the kids with all the changes 2020 has dealt and setting them up for their future. Having all these different older role models that are now going to like colleges or trade school makes me think about what I want to do in the future. Even though just the pandemic is still hope, it's still, you know, a learning education, it's still a learning facility, still you're able to come here and feel welcome. Miguel Martinez Valle, NBC 10 News. Count on it.